Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. We're actually jumping into a second upload of the day and I want to talk about uh, a little more about this in the future of the video, but I was thinking maybe doing another series of videos where it's a second upload of the day and we kind of just hang out and chat and I also play like 1v1s or something and go into more educational uh, what I'm doing at each moment and talk about uh, how to improve uh, more directly. I feel like in my videos I try to keep it more presentable and commentary wise, but at the same time still be educational so it's interesting for, for everybody. Uh, but this one's going to be kind of more of like a hangout, more like close to what I would do on my stream. Let's get into the first games and see how it goes. Alright, for the first game we got Maz. I've never heard of this guy before, but he might be from a university uh, team. I just see GHU. Um, we'll get into the first game here and see how the uh, match starts off. We're going to start with the possession here. Late flick to the top left corner. That's a good start. Uh, so he gave me a lot of space by going for that left mid boost, not staying present on the ball. So I was able to dribble it in mid and then redirect it to the top left corner um, by using a little bit of boost on the timing of my catch to put it on the back. And if he's really slow here, I could actually probably grab this boost. I didn't grab it, so it could work out for us. Make sure I'm ready for that just in case he chips it. What I'm going to do is just boom this high over the net so he has to make it clear that it could come back out to me. Like this, he kind of kind of stays uh, close, but it's fine. I'm rioting him right now. <laughs> there we go. Take the boost from him. Let's make sure I bug him a little bit. Probably overcommitted a little bit too much because he could have shot that on target, but you, know, you got to have a little fun with it. And right here, you just take it off the wall and then immediately shoot it on goal. You won't expect it to come off the wall super fast like that. He's going for the back corner. And we end up getting a free goal. So if you, see, if you see someone creeping in for that back corner boost, you can smack it off the wall. Try to make it as, uh, you know, to the normal as possible. By that, I mean, like, make it 90 degrees off the wall. Like the reflection angle. I know I'm talking, like, mathy stuff. I'll pop this across and uh, stay with the ball. Right here, I'll stay. Go for the bump, maybe? Okay, you can go. Okay, this could be really bad. Might have overcommitted there. Did he miss? Oh my gosh, he missed. There's no way. There's no way he just missed that. Okay, so I'm going to stay with the ball with 24 boost. I'm going to let him force it into me if I can. Oh. There we go. Just stay close. I got 36 boost now. Nice late 50-50. Pretty much open here. Let's make a shot. Let's do an early flip to get the uh, early power. <laughs> That's a funny little situation in the midfield. Um, he didn't want to overcommit on me. Even though he had the boost advantage, he probably could have. But he thought maybe I had like a solid 50-50. So right here, I want to stay with the ball. It's a good play by him. I'm actually going to go early, just because I can pop this towards net instead of going for that back corner boost. Force him to have to catch. Because we get in the same situation. We get the boost in mid. There we go. Just making sure I'm posturing there. So what I'm doing, trying to do is wait for his body language to tell me that I have a chance to go for the challenge. M misses the mid boost. And misses that boost. So we're just going to go an early flick. I think he's a little bit nervous to play me, maybe. But he's making a lot of mistakes. I don't think a 12... 56 would be making but we got two minutes into the game so far we're already looking pretty solid that is a solid 50 50 he missed oh my gosh it's the most tragic tragic 1v1 game for him right now you can tell this guy is decent enough because he's making good saves like this just uh i think it is nerves maybe so here, i'm gonna go for a late flick if i can pre-jumped kind of worked out not exactly a musty, but just trying to go for that late flip to try bump him here on the way out. So what I'm trying to do there is just fake the challenge and then drive into him on my way out. And there you can see that it works out for us because we... Oh, I didn't get the flip reset. It works out for us there because he ends up getting bumped to a point where he can't make a second touch. Because the first touch is not that, not that dangerous. It's the second one that's, that's dangerous. That's a good finish touch. A lot of players there nowadays, they go for like a flip reset. So there I was a little bit anticipating a flip reset chance, but he didn't rotate his car in time. And I should have realized that uh, he's not going for one. But there we go. Do a little bit of a fake kickoff. Um, a lot of the times when a player doesn't do the super speedy kickoff, I do these fake uh, slower kickoffs. And you can sometimes get a little bit of early possession. Um, obviously, I can speed flip. But a lot of times it's not as stable. Um, oh my god, he boomed that. It's not as stable as like a normal front flip kickoff. And in certain situations, you don't have to use a speed flip. He goes for that boost. Pretty dangerous. Right here, I'm going to go for an early flick. Actually, he's not going, so. And he didn't get the boost. 
So I see he didn't get the boost. That's when I decided to uh, change my game plan up. Because he's going to be low boost. So he's probably going to be trying to stay closer than he would be usually. Just do a hard flick. A front flip flick there, if you do the right boost timing, can get you super power uh, towards the net. And that's what I do there. You don't have to actually do an angled flip. Because that can actually like make you overcommit more. I'm off him off and get the boost if I can. Got to go to Brazil here. Feels good to be back in the 1v1 scene a little bit. But... That's kind of what I meant by the corner flip. You can kind of overcommit. No, no Brazil. Feels bad, man. The little front flip, uh, like speed flip kind of flicks, uh, sometimes send you even more flying than you want to be. Uh, what I tried to do there was redirect it to the left after the fake to the right. And uh, it didn't work out, but it's okay. He'll get possession here. Okay, I'm going to go super early because he kind of popped the ball off a little bit too hard. Missed the uh, open net, but should be okay. And I'm dead. So that, actually, me dying there is really good because I'll respawn. Let's see what he does here. Not the greatest uh, flick attempt. And he just left the net nearly open there. And it's in. Yeah, so he did a fake challenge there. You don't want to do that kind of situation where you go past the ball too far and drift past it. At that point, you, gotta, you have to commit. Because if you drive around the ball one more time, uh, you'll end up being out of the play like you saw there. Uh, he almost made the save, but still, it was open enough that I got the, the bottom left corner. Alright, for this game we got Wavy. I think that's how you say his name. Um, pretty decent 2v2 player. I've not really seen him too much in 1v1, but I did play him earlier in the warm warm matches. I stay with this if I can, just stay present on the ball. Make sure I don't leave the ball with 12 boost or 0 boost, because that in that situation I'll be very, very dangerous. Make sure I get a 50-50. I use a bit of boost to get to the ground here faster. That pops okay. Even if he goes here. And he might go for a fake since he's low boost as well. Um, but even if he goes for the pop there, it's not that dangerous as long as I go. It's okay. He gives me possession by throwing the ball away. Um, even though he's on this ball, I don't really consider that like a fully threat because he's not really got enough boost to, to make a good play here. Snipe at bottom right corner. Fake the uh, far left so he sits far left post. And then you can just shoot that bottom right. So I do there is just do a few bounce dribbles and then set it up to shoot at bottom right off of a, a good roller. Just to make sure you get enough power off that though. Has to be really solid. Right here we can go for a bump, a bump air dribble here. Go for that late, uh, late uh, air dribble instead. The uh, the whole thing about one v one, especially, is just adapting to your opponent. And it's just, in that situation, I saw he wasn't jumping early enough for me to go for a bump, so it was more valuable for me to go for that that final touch, especially since he jumped up so slow. Oh no. Go for a late 50-50 once again. Make him panic. Pop it up nice and high. Kind of bad though because he gets he can get possession off this. And right here I shouldn't give him so, so much space. So instead I just challenge. Um, definitely a mistake leaving that area though. Get 50-50. Right here I'm going to bump him so he goes towards the, the boost. A little bit late 50. I probably could have shot that immediately. Here we can grab the boost. Wait for the challenge. Bit of a bump is okay. Right here, I'm going to go for a flick since he's right on the ball. And since he's last, uh, or not last, <laughs> it's 1v1. Um, since he's low, um, it'll put him in a situation where he has to clear it in an awkward position. Kind of knew he would just go because he's kind of getting frustrated, I could tell. Same with right here. He's overcommitted a lot just because he wants to be more involved. Send it down the field. Probably a bad play there. Make a 50-50. Fake it a little bit. That way we don't overcommit. Especially in that situation. Where we're uh, not the, the most boost in the tank. So. Make sure we just put it on target. Force him to have to make an awkward clear. Then we take possession of the mid. Oh no. That was not what I wanted to do there obviously. Bump him a little bit. Then we can get the mid boost. Or corner boost. Make him leave on this one. Go for the late 50-50 if I can so it goes in mid. Keep my momentum on this. It's a good play. Probably get back here a little bit faster. Could be a goal because of it too. So there I was being a little cheeky. I tried to go for like a reverse into a follow-up with the momentum. If I fake there it actually would have been really good. But me putting it on top of my car a little bit. Ended up making the 50-50 really strong for him. 
That's fine. I don't mind him taking that to the mid because then we have time to get the boost. Because right there, we technically lost that. There we go. Two decent 50 50s. So here, I'm going to try and stall, get some boost while this boost pad comes here. There we go. Just far enough, I do get the demo. I mean, I do get demoed, but it's okay. He missed the mid boost or the, the corner boost. I'm just going to pop this down the field. Force him into an awkward early touch, which he does. Right here, I'm just trying to make him go and then get the boost. Well, I hold him to a, a, hold him to a boost situation where he's pretty low. I knew he was going to go for that mid boost, so I have a little bit of space to challenge. This could be bad for him because he made a, made a touch that he probably didn't want to off that backflip, and we end up getting a, a free possession. So there, what we did was uh, realize that he wanted the boost in the way he was possessing the ball to an advantage and basically make a challenge in a situation where he might try to, you know, manipulate the ball in a position where he can one, keep the ball in his possession, but also touch the boost. Um, and that might just be in and that is, there we go. That was a pretty good play. <laughs> a little bit of a pinch off the corner or the sidewall and then it goes straight in. Um, but as I was saying, because I know that he's going for that mid boost, I can make that challenge in a position pretty confidently that uh, it'll go over his head a little bit, and then that backflip just kind of sealed the deal for me. I wasn't, I wouldn't say that that play was like a guaranteed goal. It was more the fact that I knew that I could at least keep pressure without giving him possession, because you really don't want him to have the ball 100% boost and uh, coming at your net, basically. So you want to kind of disrupt that a little bit. A good play so far. We got the boost. Should be a shot. It was close. I kind of fell in the net by accident because I meant to jump. And then ended up flipping instead. But we get back in time. It recovers pretty fast. Going to fake the challenge. Make a decent first touch. Kind of committing a little bit too early there. It's kind of hard to get it on target. But I'm going to go early just because I have the confidence to shoot those. Um, I definitely could have shot it on target originally. Uh, if I just went around the ball a little more. But that's... Hindsight is 2020 for sure. We got the final game of the episode. We got a 1329 who's actually above me here, so it's a pretty solid game. Go for the late 50 50. Go for this boost as well. Put him under pressure when he doesn't expect it. It's a good fake, but still have possession here. Pop it over him, just take the boost. Let's see what we got here in the corner. Oh, he didn't go. Okay, well, we get a free goal. I just him to challenge there, so I tried to go for a late 50-50, but instead we just pop it over him. But I hope you guys are enjoying this, the uh, the second upload of the day. Um, let me know what you guys think of, of this idea where I just basically play like 1v1 games or something like that um, as a second upload. Because I feel like on my main channel, I kind of want to keep it, you know, more more solid, uh, solid, like, you know, edited stuff rather than just unedited, but I thought maybe as a 2021 start, um, you know, early start of 2021, we kind of experiment with a, a new series where we just kind of play the game uh, and just chat about what I'm doing in the game. I know a lot of people are maybe curious about my thought process, because I know I used to do a lot more of that educational stuff. Uh, obviously, I'm doing the Road to Super Sonic Legends series, but... Oh! Should be in. <laughs> This is an awkward play right now. I'm just kind of chatting over this, but um, I'm trying to do more on my main channel, but I've been kind of, you know, exploring the custom, you know, where we can go with custom content. And obviously with Among Us and Rocket League, that was huge. Uh, it takes a lot of my time out, but I'm still streaming on Twitch um, at lethemy underscore RL if you want to watch more, more gameplay live. Um, it's a bit of a different vibe. I try to like change up my vibe on stream just to hang out with chat and stuff. Um, but obviously... Uh, it's a different different environment, and uh, I like to change it up because that way you get different different tastes of different stuff when you when you uh, visit different parts of my channels. I don't want it to be all the the same, you know, monotone. Not monotone. I'm not monotone. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Uh, monotony or whatever you want to call it, uh, where it's all just the same no matter where you go. I like to spice it up. But we're looking good here. Uh, I did not expect to be up five goal five goals. <laughs> I think me just talking, just autopiloting is working out for us. It's a good save. It's a really bad uh, touch. I probably could have scored that. But obviously, with uh, the late touch, he's going to be back and saving that one. 
So I get the boost. Try to avoid the demo here and then also wait for his touch since I know he's going to stay with it. That should be okay. Should be a late 50-50. Help him off if I can. It's close. He gets the boost off that, but I still have a, a decent position where he might flick it early or something. There it is. He's been trying to lose uh, li those early flicks on me and it's not really working because I'm just waiting and shadowing. Um, if you want to play against how I'm playing right now, you probably want to hold on to a little more, do a few more fakes. Just make me second guess myself a little more. Because right now he's kind of just letting me uh, sit back and relax while he shoots like decent shots at me, but not really like on target. You might do it again here. There's a little more patience where he holds on to it. So you can see how that makes me a second guess myself. I thought he was going to flick it straight. Flicks it to the right and gets the top right corner. It's a pretty good shot. Good chance for the, the uh, Brazil this time around though. See does here. He's going to flick it forward. I don't want to go for that boost because he will beat me. Instead what I want to do is just pop it up nice and high. Make him go. And now he gave me the space because of that touch to get some boost. Right here, I'm just trying to bump him if I can. So wait, that way he doesn't take over the the ball. And he overcommitted once again. That seems to be like the common theme in this game is just a big overcommit. Um, kind of loses possession in a spot where he shouldn't. And then I'm able to just send it home. As you can see, I got 12 shots. But my game plan in, in 1v1 is also always like pressure. Like right here, trying to do two things at once. Overwhelm uh, a single player on the field. Should work out. Try to do something fancy because we're up like seven goals. I couldn't really grab the ceiling in time though. Should be decent enough that he has to make an awkward catch to the point where I should get back. There we go. Just pre jump that one because there's not many options for him. So I can go for a musty flick here. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, I definitely can. Uh, in that situation, I probably should have just uh, shot the open net, maybe. But, you know, the monster flick was more fun. There's definitely a possibility that that can go top corner. It's just uh, it's a random chance, depending on how much boost you use there. Not random chance, obviously. It depends on how much boost you use, but... Oh, thought he was going to touch it. Try to read him. Should be okay, though. Got a minute 20 left. This is pretty much going to be the end of this game. I mean, he's kind of just throwing the ball away early every time. And uh, not really causing too much of a problem on my defense. He needs to be threatening me a little more. Like right here. It's kind of just... Uh... Yay! Oh, no. Yeah, it's just, it's just a kind of in shambles at this point. But uh, what do you guys think of the second upload where we kind of just hang out and do ones games like this or something? I don't really care if I win or lose. I'm not really like super, super focused on like playing 100%. I want, really want to be like more educational than, uh, than sweaty. But I do like just hanging out. Um, I was thinking of starting like a podcast or something in 2021. Um, I know you guys like the Get to Know a Pro series that we started, or that I started. Um, this could be a goal here. Ah, oh, nice shot. Um. It didn't really pop off at the start, and I was wondering if it wasn't like something you guys were interested in. And then I looked back, and to get to know uh, <laughs> the child prodigy or the poster child of Rocket League, Pernovi was the most viewed uh, per like by hours, just because it was such a long video, I guess. But you guys seem to really like it, so I'm gonna try and bring that back again as well. Probably won't be until 2021 that that starts happening again, just because pros are doing stuff right now. I mean, to be honest, it is it is uh, off season, so, but obviously because of the holidays, people are just chilling. Let's see if we can get a, a late 50-50 here. He didn't go. That's fine. There we go. Kind of just dying of the clock here. Pop it up. Maybe follow it up. Oh, no! It went up. Let's keep this up. No! <gasps> I got it. Help! Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Let's get this. No, I couldn't. I tried to pop it to the back corner uh, to keep it up, but 
that's gonna be the game so hope you guys enjoyed so we're joining back into the 1v1 scene a little bit these are like pretty much the first games i played i played a few won a few lost a few before i recorded just because i wanted to warm up um you know waking up immediately and playing ones isn't the best idea but hope you guys enjoyed the second upload um once again let me know what you guys think of like a second upload of the day uh, here and there just as like a little hangout kind of thing uh, if you're interested in that let me know and uh until next time have a great day and we'll catch you guys in the next one